Hello people of YouTube, what is going on? My name is Jelly Billy Joe and today I'm back with yet another video for you guys. Now today I'm going to be talking a little bit about mods. Yes, Rome Total War 2, the modding community has picked up its game and they are here to deliver something which is hopefully pretty amazing. I've played some of these mods actually and I'm going to go through my mods which I have installed uh, in a second. Um, but it really does add something new to the game and I'm really actually quite delighted that... Um, Wow, that's kind of weird. They said delighted there. But anyway, I'm delighted that they have really ra radius or radius or however you want to say it. That mod guy has come back and all of them have come back and they've started making some awesome mods, tweaking the game and making it, you know, it's, it's to me, it's making it what it should have been to the hype. Slowly but surely we're getting there, which is good. I really praise the modding community already for this. And I, I've only played about half an hour's worth of campaign time with some of these mods installed. But today we're going to play for about half an hour if not 25 minutes uh, with some of these mods installed so you can see the little tweaks and differences that they make. So the mods which you can install are on the Steam uh, Workshop. You click onto Rome Total War 2, you have to go Steam Workshop and uh, they are here. If you go and browse the workshop then you'll be able to pick up any mods that you'd want off of here. Um, but regardless of that, let's go through the mods I have. So here we have 4 turns per year mod. Now the only bad thing about this mod is it's not compatible with already current saves so you do have to start a new campaign but as soon as you've started that new campaign with it then obviously it kind of sticks with that campaign. You have 4 turns per year uh, every year which is pretty awesome so you can know uh, 2 years is 8 turns instead of just 2 turns you know so it kind of adds that new depth to the game you know you can have such a long campaign with that and really uh, take your time in what you're doing without having to rush around because you're worried that you're not going to be able to ever get there and conquer the whole entire world because it is a quite a big world uh, Dresden sack liberation diplomatic options this when you uh, take a place it gives you some more options what you can do with it confederating forming liberating sacking um, you know that type of thing so it adds more different options there which I thought was really cool instead of just three um, quite boring and tedious options that you can do for every single one the radius battle mod. Now the battle mod, from what I can remember, hold on, let's see if we can go to the page here. Uh, basically, it just uh, like kind of uh, edits loads of stuff, so like uh, cavalry speeds, skills, uh, charge speeds, ranges, all sorts of stuff to try and balance the game out a little bit better than what it was, which I really, really like indeed as well. The other ones I've got is the radius uh, campaign features mod. Uh, I forgot what the hell that does as well but I'll come back to it uh, the radius economy and research mod uh, it kind of makes the economy make more sense uh, the research mod it all it's kind of balanced out the kind of uh, squalor that you get um, it's one of those two that does that uh, so you know you don't get minus 10 food and plus five you know because on the original game they were pretty broken you know for a high-end tier building you were losing so much goddamn um, you know squalor and in public order just by building one building it was kind of ridiculous and they kind of really like kind of balanced it out and managed it which i really like as well so we've got the uh, radius and f yeah whatever unit pack three eastern that adds some cool stuff in there like the immortals out of spartan uh that one's a bit more it adds loads of like normal units as well but if you're not with all the spartans uh sorry the immortal stuff out of the 300 spartan films and stuff like that and you don't you know you want to keep it really realistic then don't go for that uh, the Radius Unit Pack 1, Barbarian Invasion, this adds loads of the tweaks and units to the Barbarian um, factions as well, you know, they, the six new unit types for each thing, um, and that especially shows up in the Rise of the Empire for Unit Pack 2, which does Rome, Carthage, and uh, the Greek City State. You know, like, um, instead of just Hoplite infantry now, I'll show you as we go into the game, you actually get, like, uh, Athenian swordsmen, and Spartan swordsmen, and things like that, which actually makes sense. You know, you can actually have swordsmen instead of just spearmen, because that's all you could have, and it was really quite limiting unless you went for mercenaries, and I really didn't like that. And more recruitment slots, uh, something else to make the game a bit better. You can have uh, the AI and the player can have up to five, instead of just doing three, and then you have to wait two turns for them to be done, you can have up to five done one turn, which I really like as well. I haven't got that enabled because it was a bit weird, but the texture for the units Roman Carthage was pretty cool as well. And the traits, talents, and toadies, which gives loads of really cool bonuses when your character levels up. But those are just the mods I'm using. You can probably go on there and check any out. Uh, you might find some more that suit you a bit better. But this is what we'll be using today. So without further ado, let's jump into my humping. Let's jump in to my game of Athens, uh, what I was playing yesterday, and we'll be able to take a look at some of the cool unit types and some of the things that this mod offers. Okay, people, so jumping into the game here, we can see my Athens campaign thus far. Now, just went to board with Epirus yesterday, took over the two factions, uh, sorry, two towns and two factions, and uh, 
so on and so forth. So that went pretty goddamn well in my opinion. Uh, things are a bit rocky with Macedonians and they've got a lot of troops. Now what you find with these mods is they do enable the AI and yourself to have a lot more troops and just generally your armies will be a lot bigger for some reason. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm replacing with the new soldiers. We've got Athenian infantry. Finally, we have something other than Hopolites in here that which you can train. Yes, you could train Hopolites and all the uh, standard men if you so wish. But generally speaking, um, like there they are, the Hopolites. They have a bit better stats than the Athenian infantry. But uh, I like the Athenian infantry because uh, it gives something else against the other spearmen that the other factions use as well. Now, something to note, these mods, the AI will use the added units as well. They will recruit them and add them to their armies as well. So you'll be fighting other um, infantry types that they have that you might not have seen before, which is really cool and I think really awesome as well. We so looking back over here, I have my uh, army stationed at Athena. It's quite a defensive army. Only one group of swordsmen, one cavalry unit and some uh, ranged units. Uh, that's because I'm not expecting to be attacked there anytime soon. I've got my two main armies up north here, Epirus. And I'm expecting an attack off these guys because it's going to suicide Banzai charge, which they always seem to do because they've got nothing better to do with their lives. Uh, which I'm kind of hoping they do, actually. Uh, because, yeah, I'll be able to show you guys an inside battle thing. Uh, what was I going to start for? Diplomacy. Quickly go over some diplomacy of this. Um, defensive allies with Sparta. Everything's really cool there. Trading, military ally, all that type of stuff. Um, and I'm only at war with Epirus at the moment. But Macedon seems to really not like me very much at all. So it shows, uh, probably going to end up in war. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of money built up, but that's something to, as well. Ooh, something to do that's with um, the mods. They help to do that as a lot, as you know, you get more options and more. It just makes sense. Now, these are some of the new options in here that have been added. Look, uh, they, they are really cool, in my opinion. Like these as well that have been added. They give plus seven morale, you know, all that. Uh, really good bonuses that are really useful. Like this one, plus four public order in the local province when he's there, plus 10% morale, all that type of stuff. And okay, we're going to upgrade that. So. A lot more upgrades, uh, everything goes a lot slower, this is 19 turns in, I just checked before I started this, and I'm only 4 years in, so, you know, it makes the campaign go a lot slower, but you can do a lot more in the time that you're in the campaign, so you can take your time, you know, go with diplomacy, and just take your time with factions, get yourself in the right position before you go running into battle. I'm not going to give you 5,000 to be a non-aggression pact. My plan is actually to go war with Macedon after this, um, in this particular campaign. But, thus, this is just a, uh, just showing you guys some features of this, uh, mods. Uh, you can download the Radius Complete, you know, mod. Russia declared war on... Nothingness you will return. We will see to it as your cities burn. Okay. So they are allies with, okay. Okay, and we've just been attacked by those guys. So we kind of have a division here of the north versus the south at the moment. Luckily, I do have Sparta on my side as well. I have some really good units as well at the moment, which is really going to help out, I think, uh, in this campaign. Uh, but yeah, the armies are generally a lot bigger. Um, there's 250 units per... per like, sorry, 250 men per unit. Uh, some of them there's only 160, 180, but then for some reason some of them 250. So there's a whole range of unit sizes as well that are implemented into this when you have different unit types, uh, which is really cool. But it does kill your computer, so we'll see how it goes when I record. And as you can see, um, after you might be thinking as well, oh this is good, but you, you, people seem to be leveling up a bit too much, Joe. Um, you know, for what they're doing. It's true, but they're not going to die anytime soon because obviously the years aren't going very fast, uh, unless it's based on turns, which I doubt, um, you know, it's, they're not going to die, so you, you have a chance to let them level up, which I like a lot, uh, instead of, you know, okay, should we go out and meet these guys to have a battle? No, apparently not, because they're going to run away. Okay, Dakale, let's chase after them. Okay, so here we have some, um, shot cav. Uh, some hopolites, some mercenary hopolites, we've got some levy pikemen, some militia hopolites, we've got some mercenary tarantine cavalry, and a fuck ton of javelin men. So obviously, as you can see, we outman them by quite significantly here uh, in all aspects, so we should be able to have quite a swift victory. But let's go onto the battlefield and fight it, neither the way. Sometimes I like to, uh, for battles I know I'm going to win or know I'm going to lose, I just auto-resolve them, 
But for the sake of this recording, I will play this battle. And now I've just said that, I will probably lose this battle because my look is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um. But yes, so I'll put the Athenian infantry into action for you. Um, really good job on the cosmetics. You know, these models have really done a good job. Um, you know, I could be wrong all this entire time. There could have been Athenian infantry there from the start, but I really don't think there was any swordsmen. I think it was just hoplites from what I remember. And I've played as Athena more than once. So we'll just go in with a dry um, setup. As you can see, um, 250 men in this group over here. As you can see here, it really, you know, a lot of men on the battlefield. Um, but it seems to run half decently on my computer on about high to very high settings. So I have no complaints, to be honest. Uh, so let's form our men up. As you can see, the different unit sizes, which is frustrating to say the least. We've got the big units in the middle. These are all the small units. Okay. And then we'll have these guys backing them up. What we really want to do is get these Athenian infantry into it, don't we? Uh, to be quite honest. To show you guys what they're like. Um, I'm interested to see them fight because in the battle, the only battle I've had them in so far, I didn't actually use them. Um, I don't know why, I just didn't. Uh, they kind of sat at the back while the hoplites went and did all the work, so that's going to change. So let's see what our opponents have brought to the field this time. Uh, we already know what they've brought to the field. That was a stupid thing to say. Let's go back over to my men. Okay, so let's get. Oh, God damn it. Let's get our men in front because we want our skirmishers to lay down some fire before our infantry get into it. So we'll have them there. Quick, fast. Ready. Then we'll have a bit of a gap between them and uh, these. Because when these uh, javelin men fall back, they will probably sit right there and uh, start throwing again. We'll group all those up. Actually, right now, we'll group General. everyone up even. And that will keep them in formation. And we will march forward here to meet the enemy. Fast forward it so we're not waiting for years. And uh, while we're getting there, I'll have a little talk about stuff about my channel. So my channel, as you probably have noticed, I'm not posting up as much as I used to. I used to post up once every two or three days, but I'm um, getting quite a lot of college work at the moment that I'm having to do. Um, I'm taking IT, so um, I'm planning to do some more computerized um, type of videos. I like doing those. They're pretty cool, like build videos and stuff. Uh, but something else as well is the fact that me and my friends at college are planning to start a uh, joint channel together as well. But don't worry, it's not gonna. <laughs> it's not gonna mean I'm not gonna be posting anything here. Where are they going? Hey, come back. Oh, yes, don't worry, it's not... Oh, no. Don't worry, it's not going to mean I'm not posting anything up here. It just uh, quite simply means that I uh, am going to be posting that one a week or something up there. Um, and we'll be covering all sorts of things if we decide to go ahead with it, but it's one of those things where it depends how college goes. Um, you know, we have the ability to do it. You know, one of us wants to do retro games, one of us wants to do IAT-based stuff. Me and Alex, my friend, wants to do IT-based stuff along with some modern games, I believe. Um, so that's kind of what might be happening, but it's one of those things where it's probably just going to sit on the fence for about six years and not actually happen, but whatever. Without further ado, let's get back into the game and enough talking about my personal life to you guys, which are probably not interested in the slightest. The enemy's hidden units. Oh, hey, I didn't realize that. Okay, uh, let's take these guys in and get them to start attacking then. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Let's go, Athenian infantry to get in there. Oh, in fact, hold on. We could play this defensively, I probably think, to be honest with you. you to get here and then we'll push through them. That's my plan anyway. 
men are wavering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get all of our men back over here because they're in the way. Now they've made contact, we'll push through the gaps here with our upper lights nicely. So if we push through the middle, fill in these gaps, and we'll be able to get around them. Hopefully, that's kind of the plan. Um, eventually. And what we could do with our upper lights, we've kept back here. The smaller groups just take them down the side and uh, start heading towards these skirms uh, to stop them from firing repetitively on my lines of infantry in there. Uh, looks like it's going pretty well, to be honest with you, in there at the moment. Uh, we'll go in and have a look at some of the battle. Have a look at some Athenian infantry there, having it out. Our general is under attack. Lovely. Athenian infantry ready to go in ham in that group. No, uh... It's quite a well-known fact that, um, you know, the swordsman will have a distinct advantage over the um, spearman in close proximity a lot of the time in these battles. Uh, so that will also be very helpful. And that phalanx didn't really do very well, did it? To be honest. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're pushing in from the side here with our, our hoplites. Uh, this flank has pretty much fallen, so we can kind of push them around into those cav. Like so. Beautiful. It's all going to plan. Mwahaha. The battle is turning in our favour. Yes, as you can see, we've got around the back of these. We can really plow into the cav, and we can have these swords can go into the back of those as well if they will. There we go. There's the other pikemen that we might need to have a little bit of help with, but I doubt it because they're wavering because they're surrounded at the moment. So uh, I think all in all. This has gone surprisingly gone down well. We've uh, barely lost any men. We've lost a few, look, but generally speaking, that was a, a rocky beginning, you know, the way that we got charged down and, you know, I was a bit uh, at one point, but apart from that, we managed to pull back from that very well. Just get them to charge into the side of there, make them start wavering, would uh, help a lot. But yeah, as you can see, the mod allows you to do so much more in the campaign as a whole. Its battles are kind of, you know, more immersive with the different types of units now, instead of just fighting spear on spear infantry, uh, when it comes to Greek factions. It's dead. really nice uh, features that these mods are adding, and I really do think they add something whole, you know, a whole new level to the game that should have really been in the game at the beginning. It was a good game. I, I really, I enjoy playing Rome. Don't get me wrong, I do, but it didn't meet the hype. And there we go. Yeah! Decisive victory. Have a look at some of the stats. Deployed nearly 3,000 men, lost 300, so we lost a tenth of our army. Uh, deployed 1,800 men, and they lost a good uh, nine tenths of their army there. So, not bad at all. In fact, they lost, okay, that's eight tenths. That's whatever. Let's shut up, Joe. Maths doesn't matter here. But yeah, you see the Athenian infantry got stuck in there, did some good work. And the hoplites pushed through and just uh, did most of the uh, heavy work and uh, destroyed the faction completely. That was their last. Uh, just loud, isn't it? That was their last uh, bunch of units. So there we go. Um, that was some representation of the Athenian infantry in battle there. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, it adds a lot of different units um, to the, each faction. In fact, there's loads of different ones. Uh, you got these type of things here, which really I, I really like personally. They add something else, you know. And, makes leveling up your characters worth it instead of just plus one zeal because that was such a weak system it kind of annoyed me um, but as you level them up you get more interesting options which I which I like a lot more um, you could do with probably some zeal there uh, so have mods made a difference to this game I, I do I do honestly think so I think a lot um, they've added a lot of new stuff in diplomacy wise you know I wanted a more in-depth diplomacy than what was delivered originally um, they've just added a lot more stuff and I really do credit the modding community for this already and it'd be interesting to see what mods they come out with in the future uh, there's a lot of modding potential for this game I know that 
um, and it could be absolutely fantastic. There is mods you can get 12 turns per year and all sorts of stuff like that. So there is a lot of ability to do a lot of different stuff here as well. So all is good, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I bring another video to you guys in a few days. I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching.